Welcome to Pond Engineering, where apparently uh, most videos are Bluetooth related. Another video about Bluetooth, uh, this time it's a speaker. Uh, uh, this is a very small Bluetooth device, as you can see. It has a charging point, you can hook your uh, keychain here. Uh, yeah, it uh, has a keychain. It has only one button. Uh, it has indicators uh, to charge and uh, when it's running, let me turn it on. Hey, I'm ready. Ready for a connection. Yeah, we, we have a distinct uh, lady with a distinct Chinese accent. Uh, it, you should be able to see green LED here. I think this one is for charging and, and this one is actually a microphone, uh, as you can see, probably. Uh, I was already trying to open it. Um, it, it has a very, very small speaker, uh, but it, it actually lasts for hours, so presumably uh, the battery is uh, about the half of the size of this little box. So uh, let's take a look inside. Uh, oh, yeah, and one more thing. It also has a feature to use it as a shutter button uh, for a camera and your phone. So you can uh, actually shoot photos just by pressing it. It also does the play pause thing, uh, but you are required to install additional app. Uh, it appears in your, uh, if I connect it to the, to the PC, it appears as an uh, additional comp or device. So it probably uh, uses the app to communicate over the uh, Bluetooth com, com port. So uh, the standard communication port, but let me try to open it and hopefully this time I will be successful. Okay, so as you can see it was glued shut and opening broke some tabs. But I think I will be able to uh, put it back together later. Let me just remove. Oh, it's really small actually. Uh, let me just try and remove all everything. Uh, it has a small, yeah, so this tiny battery. Uh, this is the speaker output. It, it's quite loud, but it doesn't give any, uh, any real quality to the sound. Probably mostly due to small speaker. Not sure if I will be able to remove it, but. Yeah, I don't think so. It's also glued shut, so uh, I don't think that's the best idea. Uh, let me turn it off. I'll just press and hold. Power off. Yeah, power off, whatever. Uh, as you can see, it could be even thinner, but they probably wanted to keep it uh, in a box shape. Or maybe there are some kind of version with a uh, bigger uh, battery, I'm not sure. Uh, let's take a look. What does it say on the battery? It has a double sided tape here. Let me try and delicately remove this. Alright, so it's it's not half bad. Uh, if I remove this tape from the battery, maybe I will be able to check its capacity. Let me just delicately scrape it. And it's a really shitty tape because, yeah, uh, it doesn't. Uh, go uh, go out quite well. Maybe they are trying to cover everything they can, especially the battery capacity. But uh, it, it was fairly okay when I was using it from time to time. I actually use it for a laptop with, with an even worse speaker, so uh, that was uh, yeah, <laughs> that was an improvement. So uh, it, it was really really bad. It says here 180 milliamps with milliamp hours, so yeah, that that's not bad for that kind of size of battery. I was actually expecting something like a 300, but uh, then again, I was expecting it to be as big as this whole case. So what else we have here on this little board? Maybe I will try to zoom in so we can uh, take a better look. And also, I will uh, remove the speaker, uh, so we can take a closer, closer look at, at the board. 
Right, so firstly, maybe a quick look at the battery. Uh, it has a protection over here, so it's probably overcharged and over discharge protection because it has a little board, uh, which is really good and, and quite unexpected. Uh, and about the uh, board itself, uh, I need to take a closer look. Okay, so this is the uh, LED one, LED three. Okay, so should have additional LED, but I'm not sure if that's an option. Uh, this this is the mic I was talking about. Well, actually, yeah, you can remove this cover. And it, it has a pretty decent antenna, antenna which uh, which has an okay range. And, and yeah, you could reuse this board, but it has an amplifier somewhere here. So I don't recommend using it with, uh, with headphones. Uh, let me read the, what's on the chip over here. So this is a mono amplifier chip, uh, this XPT one. And what it does is actually amplifies the sound. So you probably want to find the pin uh, somewhere. Uh, let me check the pin out real quick. Uh, all right, so uh, th this is the in signal. So those two pins, so it, it probably receives the signal. So you could actually connect uh, external uh, output over here. So for example, some kind of headphones, but obviously a mono headphone, so it would work quite well with our uh, with headphones from our previous video. That's the amplifier, the button, the diode, crystal. Uh, let's see, it has some unoccupied spices for capacitors, but I really doubt that this would be able to, uh, to do a stereo sound. Uh, let me check each, each chip on this board and I will be back in a second. Okay, so both of these are really amazing. This little one over here, uh, what it does is it has a, it did this actually a, the Bluetooth module with the FM radio functionality, but according to the description of the, uh, well, of, uh, according to its data sheet, uh, let me just read the chip designation. Uh, it's an, uh, yeah, over here. It's a uh, RDA5876. Uh, so you can look it up. Uh, and it has uh, the FM radio, the control uh, uh, of the FM, the uh, basically a tuner. Uh, uh, mono stereo and so on, but the output is digital from this chip, so it provides a PCM audio, but a digital one apparently, if I understand correctly. And this one is the sound processing module, uh, and it probably does. Uh, it, it's basically a Bluetooth compatible module, and uh, it it uh, it decodes all kinds of formats, including the, the chip itself, obviously, uh, including uh, MP3, AMR, BCM, and that's the actual output over here. Uh, WMA, uh, Wave, Ape, Flag, OGG. It, it's really amazing. So probably uh, there could be an implementation of all of this. Uh, just to, for, to read from the uh, SD card, so uh, that that that's the, the one. It also has a USB 2.0 host and slave interface, which is really amazing. Uh, yeah, and it, it it actually says in documentation that it could support the SD card. Uh, this this little uh, speaker uh, actually costs, I think. Uh, two and a half dollars or three dollars or something like uh, like that and so yeah that that's all of technology in a, uh, a lot of space and it, it's actually uh, most of those functionality are not in use I can't find the details of this chip so nah, yeah probably it, it's not exactly this one uh, let me read the uh, the model over here it's 
uh, Anika, so A N Y K A. That's the company that made it, and uh, the, the the chip, uh, the the chip number is A K one O. That zero uh, five five C N O. That's also zero four eight. Uh, and and yeah, it's, it's I I can be easily convinced that it has all kinds of those those functionality. It's it is a VGA chip like this one uh, in in a VGA package, and it's it is one uh, really amazing chip. So uh, I don't see don't see a lot in terms of charging circuitry, and I would presume that this chip probably could control partially, but. They may also use the battery, uh, yeah, the battery, I think I shot it out right now, uh, the battery uh, protection circuitry to facilitate the charging and discharging, and that's more or less it. Let me just check one thing again, because apparently this is the 3 or 4 watt uh, amplifier, and that depends of, on the, uh, uh, of the speakers. Uh, impedance right so apparently about six ohms I can't really make a good connection over here but yeah something like that and that's uh, according to the description of the chip uh, the amplifier chip obviously uh, let me just uh, take a quick look at this it should be at it, it it's a 4 watt amplifier at 3 ohms, I think, because it, the instruction is in Chinese, or 3 watt are at 4 ohms, so presumably, what, 2 watts, something something along those lines. Um, so that's really impressive, little, uh, little Bluetooth speaker, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will put it back now, uh, it's... Hopefully it will go uh, all together. I need to cut this out and yeah, that's basically all of it. If I think about using a, uh, maybe maybe later I will try to uh, implement an external uh, microphone so I could actually have a wireless microphone. Uh, maybe I will try to solder it over here because it, it still would be more, but that could be quite uh, quite a good idea yeah so a lot of technology I don't really recommend using this because uh, to to make any kinds of modes but mods because the, 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 the size of those tracks and so on it, it could be really annoying apart from uh, connecting before the amplifier or removing it altogether uh, or replacing the microphone. Uh, apart uh, from those modes, uh, uh, I don't think you can do a lot more about this or simply using this as a input to, to as some kind of different speaker uh, if you have a bigger battery and better speaker. So that could ha be a good idea, but it's still mono, but it does provide the charging. But it probably relies, like I said, on this protection circuitry so uh, that could also uh, be a problem if you have an un unprotected battery and yeah so that's basically it thanks for watching guys and see you next time